and enable them to problem solve as a group. Working together as a team is what makes them the ocean's top predator. Scientifically known as Orsinus orca, commonly referred to as killer whales, here at SeaWorld we know them as Katina, Milani, Malia, Trua, and Mikhail, our killer whale family. Mikhail is the youngest whale at just 13 years old, and the oldest is Mikhail's mother, Katina, who this year just celebrated her 48th birthday. Katina is also the matriarch, the leader of our pod. SeaWorld's animal training techniques create a language between us and the whales. It's a language of learning. Through positive reinforcement, encouragement, commitment, and care. Through these techniques and our relationships, the whales learn to trust us. And they even learn to take an active role in their very own health and well-being. Now here in the middle of the pool is an example of one of the ways that we can communicate with the whales. It's with an underwater sound system. Over at the stage, we have a box with 10 different buttons on it. Each button makes a different sound, and each sound correlates to a different behavior. The whales have learned to distinguish those 10 different sounds and connect them to those different behaviors. Now, Trua is on his way over here to demonstrate one of the very first husbandry behaviors that we train with our whales. It's a position in which we would ask for a voluntary blood sample. The whales learn to roll ventral or upside down and present their tail flukes, just like Trua is about to demonstrate here. Not only does this give us an excellent look at their entire bodies, but it also gives us access to blood vessels that can be easily seen on the white underside of their tail flukes. Our veterinarians collect a blood sample at least once a month, and the whales are trained to remain calm and relaxed throughout the entire procedure. Now, as trainers, we're frequently rubbing down or massaging the whales, whether on their backs, pectoral flippers, or tail flukes. The whales have very sensitive skin, and this is just one way that we can reward them for remaining calm during procedures like this. It's also a great way for us to strengthen our relationships with the whales. Blood samples are just one way that we can make sure our whales are staying healthy. Another important diagnostic is weighing the whales. We're able to weigh the whales by asking them to slide their bodies out of the water and onto a killer whale sized scale that's located in one of our adjacent boats. Now here, the whales are able to demonstrate this in our slide out area. Now once the whales slide up, there's a portion of their body from their dorsal fin to their tail flukes that's still in the water. This is the powerhouse of the killer whale, called the pedanco, and it's very heavy and very muscular. In fact, the natural athletic behavior we see in all killer whales is the ability to lift that portion of their body with such force and enables them to turn completely before re-entering the water. So in this scenario, in order to get an accurate weight, we'll simply ask them to lift their tails up and out of the water. And the care isn't just physical. Mental stimulation and play are vital, and we surprise and engage with our whales at every opportunity. Play is how killer whales teach their young to hunt, and for the adults, play is important too. It seems that they just enjoy having fun. Making time for play is an important part of life for killer whales and for us. Hi everyone, I'm over here on the left side of the stadium down by the glass. Did you know that killer whales love to play? They actually learn a lot by playing and through mimicry and observational learning. From a young age, killer whales learn important life skills by playing games such as follow the leader with their mother and other whales. And we're going to put that to the test today with all of you and our killer whale family. This side of the stadium, go ahead and stand up. You will be the leader and true will follow. So on the count of three, spin in a circle two times. Ready? One, two, three, spin. As you can see, killer whales are amazing athletes, 
and they can eat several hundred pounds of food every single day. In the ocean, killer whale diets depend on where they live at the time of year. Unfortunately, overfishing, pollution, and other factors are having a serious impact on some killer whale populations. Killer whales are impressive animals, and it's pretty obvious why they're the top predator in the ocean. That means killer whales are invincible, right? Killer whales depend on a plentiful food source and a clean environment. They're completely dominant, yet completely dependent. When it comes down to it, killer whales are not the most powerful animal in the ocean. Yeah. 